Do you know, I've had a few of my viewers express to me that they don't like coffee. They like watching me make coffee, but they don't drink coffee themselves. And it can be for a variety of reasons. Maybe they just don't like the taste of coffee, but maybe it's because coffee has a bad effect on them. Well, I understand that. And I started looking for an alternative that I could share with you. And I think I found something. It's called mud water. If you're interested in seeing what mud water is all about, Keep watching. All right, so just what is mud water? Well, I'll tell you, it does look like muddy water, but of course that's not what it is at all. Actually, mud water is a combination of masala chai tea and a blend of functional mushrooms. Now, let me just read you the ingredients. So, the, where are they? On the side of the can, masala chai tea is made up of black tea, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and black pepper, and that is the predominant flavor and taste on this. I really like it. I really, really like it as an alternative to coffee. And trust me, I'm not giving up coffee, but it's just a great flavor. At least I find it so. I, I, it, your taste may vary, of course. But into that mix, they have cacao, lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, reishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and some Himalayan salt. So they have worked through the blend to get just the right combinations. Now there is still some caffeine in this, but as they say, one seventh the caffeine that's in a normal cup of coffee. So much less caffeine. So does it still work? Does it still work like a cup of coffee for you? Well, that small amount of caffeine combined with these functional mushrooms will do a lot to uh, wake you up in the morning, I guess. It, in fact, they call this your new morning ritual, and it will actually bring some focus. The people who use this will swear by it that it can be a good replacement for coffee. I'm not replacing my coffee. Don't, don't worry. I'm not replacing my coffee. I still enjoy it. Now, some people can't have coffee because it does all kinds of weird things to them. It can be bad on digestion, bad on their nerves. It can have uh, just effects that'll last them all day and all night. And it doesn't do what it's promised to do, which is to wake you up and give you focus. So that's why this is an alternative for some people who want to have something that is not only going to give you focus and wake you up, but also has all the other benefits that each of those functional medicinal mushrooms have. It's really simple. What they've done is they've dried everything up. They have micro-grounded. It's this fine, fine brown powder, as you'll see in a moment. And you just mix it in with hot water. One tablespoon to 12 ounces of hot water. Good sized cup of coffee. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like, but let me just, and taste it, of course, for you. But let me just uh, describe it for you. It's cloudy. It's uh, mud water. It looks muddy. And that's, that's, in fact, the, the way of it but you don't really feel the, the grittiness of mushrooms like you think you might. There's a little tiny bit. I, I won't um, have you believe in that there's none. It's a little bit and some of it will settle. So every once in a while, I just stir my cup up and that's if I have to, if I leave it set, if I drink it, it stays suspended. And uh, really, you don't notice that those grounds in the bottom of your cup. Um, now, Hot water, that's the way I enjoy drinking this. I drink it black, but you can drink it with milk, dairy, or any of the nut milks or anything else you like. You can sweeten it. I sometimes sweeten it with uh, the monk fruit erythritol blend, um, but you can sweeten it with honey or sugar, whatever is your favorite sweetener. Um, you can do a lot of things with it. Now they have a device. Did I bring it with me? Yes, I did. They have a device that they sent with me that's quite unique and, uh, well, it's not unique. You've seen these before, but boy, it's really, really cool. This is a frother, a battery operated frother. It is rechargeable with USB type C and uh, I won't be using it today, but I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, I wouldn't normally bring this to the woods, but you can see it's spinning. This will froth your milk or whatever else you have in your cup. Just, well, you have to be careful. You have to actually be very careful. I spilt more over the counter trying to get used to learning this than I actually kept in the cup. But over time, it, I learned there's a few tricks and uh, that you can learn to do that with. So this is something I will use at home. You know, heat your milk up, froth it, get a frothy cup of milk, mix in this mushroom powder, and you get a mushroom latte. That's pretty much what it amounts to. A um, little fancy out in the woods. Again, I'm not gonna carry a battery operated device like this out in the woods, but it's good to know you can. So that's one thing that came with the set. Another one was this booklet. And uh, the value of this booklet, of course, is that there are all kinds of, well, all the information you need to know about mud water, but also all a number of different recipes. If you want it, change it up and see how, uh, how you can make it. There's ice mud, mud lattes, 
uh, slightly sweet mud latte, butter mud. So you can make like a butter coffee with it and just add the fats like MCT oil and some butter or other oils and make a butter coffee. I, I enjoy doing that with coffee. So why not? I, I haven't tried that with this. I think that's the nice thing. You can spice it a little bit more. Um, yeah, the, and this is just the beginning of it. Uh, and that's the fun part about this is you can drink it plain or you can do a lot with it. Drinking it cold is one way a lot of people like to have it. They, they'll put it in a, a mason jar and shake it up with the lid on, of course, and take it with them. And then they just, every so often, they'll give it a shake and, taste, and have a drink of it, and they can drink it all day long that way. So that's another way of having it. Okay, enough talk. Let's get, I have a pot, like I said, on the fire here. Let's make a cup of it and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so my water is hot, and I'll, I'll just share with you what the uh, mud water looks like. Like Normally, I don't bring this whole canister out. I just have a small container that I've been bringing out into the woods to try, but I wanted to bring the canister out to show you what it's all about. But I did have to put a piece of uh, Gorilla Tape on top, just to make sure it didn't spill on my pack. So you can see the powder, very, very fine, light brown, cinnamon kind of colored powder is pretty much what it is. Now, um, this Quixa, that's my, my newest uh, Quixa that I made, is doesn't hold 12 ounces. It probably holds eight, maybe nine. So I'm not going to use a full tablespoon. So something about a teaspoon and a half. I don't think there's any preciseness. You play with it as you gain some experience drinking it. Close that up so I don't spill it. Put my glove on. All right. You've uh, probably recognized that I'm using the Fire Maple Maverick three-sided stove and the Fire Maple Billy. I'm doing my testing on that for a future review. They're working out good so far, I'll tell you now. All right, so I just stir it up. So it's dissolved already. It's There, there was no hesitation in dissolved. There's no little... Uh, clumps of it sticking together in the bottom, but it is hot right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to let that cool off a little bit. And uh, then I'll, I'll show you what it's all about. We'll do a taste test and we'll go from there. So it's uh, middle of October here in Nova Scotia and, and it's uh, late afternoon and the sun, well, it's not setting. It's got a lot, quite a ways to go yet, but uh, it is starting to chill just a little bit here in the darkness of the woods. So it's the reason I put my vest on. So let's uh, have a drink of mud water. Hmm. Another taste. <sighs> okay. So I've had this well, about half the can, so that's a that's a fair number of tries for this. I've mixed it with milk. Uh, they oh yeah, they have a couple of other things I want to show, and then I'll come back to it. This is their creamer that they sell also, and they sent a sample along. It is mud water creamer made with coconut milk and MCT oil. Now, I haven't even tried it yet. I've tried similar products before, and they work fine. I just uh, wanted to show you this before I tried it, but I did try this. And this is their Mudwater Rubus Chai. And Rubus is a, is a non-caffeinated tea. So this is your new evening ritual. So this would be the type of thing, and they, I only got one little envelope of it, uh, type of thing you might have in the evening after supper to help relax you. And the mushrooms in this one, well, let me read them. And a little bit different than the ones in the morning ritual. Uh, Rubus tea, ginger, cardamom, black pepper, nutmeg, and cloves. So there's your tea base. Turkey tail, reishi, lacuma. I'm not familiar with that one. Valerian root, passion flower, turmeric, cinnamon, ashwagandha. I've heard of that, but I'm not sure. And chamomile. And chamomile, of course, helps to relax you in the evening. So those are two other products that they have that you may be interested in. Um, yeah, so I've been trying it out. I've tried it with milk and with sweeteners and the combination thereof. It actually is a little nicer when I have it with milk, either uh, dairy milk or a, nut, or a nut milk, as as well as a little bit of my uh, no-cal sweetener. I actually quite like it that way. Um, not in the morning, but in the afternoon. In the, in the morning, I just drink it the way it is, black. Well, black is relative, right? It's It looks like chocolate. <laughs> it's just muddy looking. Okay, so there, when I first took a sip of it, I thought I could still feel some of the uh, powderiness to it. 
but that has gone. I'll have to give it a stir. Oh, let me just, a little stick right here. I can give it a stir to see if it's settled to the bottom. Yeah, a little bit did. So I just stirred up. So a little bit of it did settle to the bottom. And I, I get the ever just so slight a texture on the, uh, the mud water now that I've stirred it up. Nothing that I would say, oh, I don't like that texture in my throat. No, it's just, it's fine. And uh, I'm sure most people could get used to it. If they didn't like it initially, they could get used to it quite quickly. It's actually really nice, you know. So I guess the other question is, is does it work? Does it actually help bring focus, wake you up like a morning cup of coffee does? Well, yes, it does but not like a real good cup of coffee in the morning. How should I say? I, I won't give them uh, equal to equal. They, you know, a nice cup of coffee in the morning is still what I like to do. I prefer to do it. It doesn't cause any problems for me, so I'll continue to do it. I really only have one, maybe two cups of coffee a day most of the time, um, but I like having tea or some alternative in the day as well, especially if it gets into the late afternoon. I don't want to start having coffee. And that's when something like this really kicks in. So I'm not going to have that caffeine hanging around in my system in the evening time, but for at least the late afternoon when sometimes you get those drowsiness, this will help bring focus. And it does. I'm not going to say it's dramatic. It's not like you suddenly took some miracle drug and woke up and, uh, you know, could do just about anything, but it does help. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, it has to be the, the ingredients because the caffeine is so low in this that that caffeine may help the other ones be absorbed, but they're, it's not adding to the wake up. It has to be the mushrooms themselves. I guess I'd put it on par with a good strong cup of tea in the afternoon where it's not a cup of coffee, but you're still getting a good kick of caffeine. That's what I feel this is most like, but without all the caffeine. So does it work? It works for me, and that's what I can say. I can't say necessarily it will work for you, but you can give it a try. And when you go to the website that, of course, I'm going to provide the links to, and by the way, they're now shipping to Canada. Uh, if you go to the website, you can get trial packs, just smaller packs. I don't know how many envelopes it is. They sent me a full can of it, plus the frother, which is which is fun. Works, works really well, um, but it, like I said, it takes a little bit of a practice with it. So give it a try. If you're looking for an alternative to coffee, coffee's not working for you, or you don't like the taste of it, or it has a bad effect on you, this may be something that's a little different for you that you would like to give a try. And don't forget all those mushrooms in there, the all functional medicinal mushrooms, and I'm a big believer in that. Okay, like I said, I'll, I'll give you the information I have in the video description below. If you have any questions about this product or any comments, maybe you've tried it and you want to share your comments on it, please put those in the comment section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.